A story inspired by the things I found in the garden during lockdown. I am snug and warm, cradled, dreaming of meadows, fresh buttercups and warm summer sun. When suddenly everything changes. There is light, sound, voices. After many aeons resting here, I am lifted and held. It has been a long time since I was held in warm hands. I remember it well. I am smooth, dusted down, caressed. The warmth spreads through my old body to the tips of my ears and my tail and all the way down my legs. Wait, not all the way down my legs. Down three legs. One is missing, broken off when I was buried. Was I dropped? How did I get here? With a pat on the nose, I am set down on a table. I find I can still stand proud. Horses are strong. We always stand proud. Three legs is fine for me. Who are these people, I wonder? Do they know what happened to me? Are my friends from the old days going to join me? But the voices move away, and I am left to my thoughts. I think it must have been a long time ago, the time before, the time where I stood proudly on a tall mantelpiece surveying an elegant room. It was warm then, and there was chatter and games and lots of people. I oversaw the comings and goings in the company of my friends. We were an odd assortment, each beautiful in our own way, there was the dented silver teapot, a tiny china cat, two intricate candlesticks and the surly mantel clock who tisked and topped and tisked and topped all day long. But I think they are all long gone now. Everything feels different. The air, the sounds, it's all so different, louder and somehow freer. The sun is warm on my old back and I bask in that feeling. I have not felt direct sunlight before being always inside. Outside is big. There is so much space and so many birds and creatures. I get tickled on the nose, startling me awake. I must have dozed off. What was that? Oh, a little black cat has come to investigate, her whiskers stroking my face. She stares down at me, and moments pass before she turns round twice and settles beside me. Everything is okay, she seems to say, before slowly closing her eyes. I enjoy the companionship and the deep rumbling purrs. After a time, I realise I can smell fresh, planty smells. It is like my senses are waking up one at a time. Perhaps they're only just recovering from being buried in the ground for so long. I notice I am standing in dappled shade and around me are small trees, no, herbs, all rippling slightly in the breeze. How lucky to be in the fresh air smelling these smells. In one of the pots, I spy a green man, a new friend in my life outside. Together, we will oversee the garden, make sure the herbs are growing well, and enjoy visits from the garden cat, who will bring us stories.